Hey everyone. So a few weeks back I did a painting on gray uh, with the yellow flower. So today I'm going to mix it up and I'm going to do some shades of purple. So I already got the gray down. This is a little bit darker than the last one. Um, that was a custom mix on that one. So I'm just going to go ahead and start pouring our little flower out here. So I am using the bottom of a hint bottle. Uh, that does give you um, seven petals on the flower instead of five that you would normally get on a soda bottle. So I want to, um, I think I want to start with silver because I kind of want it to blend in with the background. I think I'm going to go right in the order I have them. It's kind of hard to pick something to go on gray. <laughs> it's not like a popular color in our acrylic pouring world. And then I'm going to mix this up just a little bit. I'm going to turn that and do one more layer. As soon as it's done dripping. That's Alan cleaning tiles in the background. You hear squeaking. There's no mice out here with me. <laughs> He's being productive, he says. pushing this white out and it looks really cool. I think I might want to turn it and go back and do uh, the same as before. A little harder to get it lined up that time. Okay, let's try this again. Plenty of paint. So we may not end up with a flower at all. It just might be like a kaleidoscope type look, which I'm fine with too. We may totally use all, lose all this gray. I'm fine with that too. <laughs> as long as it um, looks pretty cool. see what that center is going to do before I start pulling anything in. So I'm going to use a popsicle stick and pull the white in. Because there's a ton of paint here in the middle. Alright, 
then I'm going to go ahead and pull each one of these petals in. Excuse me. That's a lot of paint in there. I wish I could just like suck it out of there. <laughs> I probably could. But then I don't know what it would do to the design. So let me give it a quick torch and see how many air bubbles we have. I don't see too many. I'm probably going to make a mess. Okay, here we go. All the paint's in the middle. So I'm just going to stretch from corner to corner first. Without going over. I'm going to let this one go over because I'm going to have to do that anyway. Might as well start here. Ooh, that looks pretty. Mm. All right, let me bring that down and take it over the sides there. <laughs> decisions, decisions. I'm just rocking it to get that paint to stay together. I could have just not done a gray background at all. Could have just done a white background. Take it right off. All those cells are opening up down there, but I still have to um, get the paint so that it's even on the canvas. That 
that will be the end of that one. I may want to pull some more of that middle stuff. Always have to play. Disturbing this too much, anyway. All right, let's torch it. Let's see what we got. I'm sorry. Let that um, sit for five minutes. Let's see what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, so it did change a little bit. Not much, but I don't like this middle here. So I'm just going to put some dark purple in there. And I'm going to pull it in. just to break up a little bit of that gray. Okay, that's better. Let me just push it out just a smidge with the airbrush. A little bit too hard there. I lost the other one. <laughs> That's better. I'll leave it like that. Okay, let me torch it one final time and we'll be done with this one. We'll get some more cells coming up through the white. Not great big stuff, but some little tiny little ones. Bring some more of that dark purple up through. So that's done, guys. So subscribe if you haven't. Click that notification bell. You'll be notified when we upload our next video. Click like and share. Leave a comment. Um, check out all the links below. Join our Facebook group, uh, the Parage Posse with Christina Welch. Uh, it's a new group that we just started this week. Um, all the codes for the Stone Coat Resin is below. Um, all of our shopping um, things are below our Amazon shop to buy all your supplies and if you're looking for holiday gifts everything's on sale on our Etsy shop through December 12th so check everything out and we will see you all on the next one have a great day guys bye now